What has happened with the remainings of Hero Face Brains? It's gone, man. It has disappeared. It has gone out this door. And I don't know if it's coming back, man. <laughs> you guys won't believe what this happened. So, for the longest time, this was actually laying in my... And actually, it was in the... Not the display, but where the crowd is. Where the WHF universe is. And you know what? I had no idea that this was an actual thing. For the... Like, I could not come to terms. The reason as to why a Hulk Hogan figure... Looked the way that it did. And the only reason I found this out was because of wrestling days. Huge shout out to you, man. This <laughs> it's inspired me to make this custom. So back in the Jacks days, in the old Jack, Jackie, old Jack, Jack days, they actually made a Shawn Michaels dressed as Hulk Hogan. This is the actual body. I put a random, uh, I think it's like a young Randy Orton head scan on the remaining parts of it so I can throw them back into the crowd. But we're not throwing this. No, 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 not this back into the ground. This is actually Shawn Michaels. He had uh, he had made a promo with him and Hulkamania when they were building up for that uh, match that they were going to have. And this was actually him dressed up as the Hulkster. Yeah, <laughs> it's Shawn Michaels right there with the, uh, with the hair piece right there, with the mustache. So obviously all of that, that's bootleg. Well, not, not a bootleg figure, but what I'm saying is like the, the look of, uh, Michaels, what he was trying to go for. He was trying to impersonate. And this isn't the first time that they've done this. I, I can think of a, a small handful of other superstars that Shawn Michaels has impersonated. So, Parts right here. I'll go over the parts. If you ever want to get your hands, I think this might be really rare. I got this in a lot. It was like a jack slot off eBay. So if you are looking for this Shawn Michaels slash Hulk Hogan, uh, Hulk Hogan Jacks figure, I, I think it might be rare. I tried looking for it again, and yeah, they're far in between. So obviously, right, the Jacks head scan from the uh, this one right here from the Jacks. Or some people, uh, one thing I've seen do is like they just grab a regular Shawn Michaels head scan and they just re sculpt the beard, or not the beard, but the mustache and the hair piece to kind of give it this look so once you have added that once you've added the sash because he because he did what i'm pretty sure i'll have to go back and watch the wwe network but i think he had added the sash you had the shirt i think the shirt came off the the promo uh hulkster from the metal line i think it was elite series it was in the 30s it was 34 a shirt right there also came from that and i just grabbed the dean ambrose like uh you know the dean ambrose that had the lighter pants right there you do that you do an arm swap because obviously the only way to get the Shawn Michaels tattoos, you got to get like you know, basic elite. Just just about every Michaels has carried those tattoos throughout. But that's, <laughs> gosh, this is so cool. I love it, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you're a Shawn Michaels mark, if you're a Hulkster, if you need every Hulkamaniac in your collection, that figure just might do it for you. It's doing it for me, man. Now, Dream right here. This is uh, Muscle Bro's idea. He hit me up. He's like, Bro, what are you going to do with that dream? What are you talking about, man? I'm talking about a bandana. Now, I do plan on eventually acetoning the DIY logo. This came off Gargano from the NXT TakeOver Elite. No, actually, it wasn't an It was the Hall of Champions. So one thing that you are going to have to do, because you can't put it over the hairpiece. It's just, yeah, the hairpiece, it is way too big. I mean, you can force it. You can do what you want. But most likely, you'll end up ripping it, uh, ripping the bandana. So instead, one thing you want to go about doing is just heat up the head. Heat it up, you know, 35, 40 seconds. Slide that on there, and there you go. I think that works, dude. I think Dream, I mean, think about it. All the times that he's worn a bandana, adding this to the figure. What do you think, Dream? Love it, Hero Fix. I love it. <laughs> so, Velveteen, he approves. Now, this one right here, this Bray Wyatt. Dude, if you guys saw that review, yeah. This Bray Wyatt right here. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> check this out. Now that we have him in elite form, now we can get a full blown out cringe mania right here. We got Hulkamania, but we need a cringe mania uh, with, with Bray Wyatt. This head scan right here from Series 95. Bro, so, so amazing. I love it. Uh, the hair too. The dreads on it. This does have like different color dreads. This had a little hint of green. This has more red going on. But it's that facial expression that you're getting right there with the Elite conversion. And that kind of goes the same. For Series 95, the Olympic gold medalist, we had to do it. Now, if you recall... um, the Elite right here that I used to have, the custom that I made, I think probably two, maybe even three years back to the beginning of the channel. 
This was the one that I had uh, originally made. You know, now we got it in Mattel figure form. Part of the same wave of Bray Wyatt. So I added the head scan from this one. And I put the old Jax one on right there on the basic. There you go, man. If you're wondering if that true FX is going to reflect well on the custom. I think so, dude. Dude, I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy with these. Uh, And I know they're pretty cringy, especially, oh my gosh, that Michaels. Now, this last one right here. You guys know the Dudleys? You might be familiar with this character. He's like, what? I said, you might be familiar with this character. What? <laughs> Look at the Spike Dudley. Oh, yes, I love it. Uh, I actually found this off eBay. And this was an eBay score. It was the same price as just a regular Elite. It was like 20 bucks. So there was no way that I was going to pass it up. Uh, this is just a great combination. Again, going back to the old Jack days. This head scan came off the jacks. The parts that I, from what I noticed that they had gone with was, um, it was like a Daniel Bryan Elite, and, and rightfully so. I mean, any other Elite in the Mattel figure line might be too big. I think Daniel Bryan, hands down, might be one of the smallest Caucasian figures that you could use for Spike Dudley. So that one would work. And then I think this right here, like the actual cloth piece that you're seeing right here i think this came off uh hillbilly jim from the legend sign he did cut it though as you can see he cut it to kind of give it like that uh suspender slash you know overalls just look to it all he cut it right by the like the knee area and then he added like these fabric knee pads so all of like the functionality of this figure yeah you're still going to be able to get that he ended up painting like yellow i wish i remember the name of the seller man but really cool nonetheless i like it i know there's some parts right here that like for example the tie-dye well i i think when it comes to tie-dye though you really can't mess it up i do like how he did the mixture of like the blue the red green just you know all the colors right there to paint it on uh, for the shirt and then kind of matching right there with the calves the boots i think these might be a repaint as well i think the under color underneath the red might be blue I see, I see a little bit seeping through i can see some uh chipping going on that might be one of the reasons why it was so cheap but there you go man there's your wtf's customs of the day hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one